Hey, good morning, everybody. I can't be too loud because I'm at the stream right now. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready to go in here and try to catch me some trout. I'm watching these little sculpins swim around my ankles all over the place. I would try to get a video of them, but I want to keep moving. I got a doctor's appointment in like uh, at 11 o'clock, and it's 5.30 in the morning right now. So I got out here extra early to make sure I could go fishing. But today I'm using a quarter ounce chartreuse. I got a little yellow tail thing there, and I got a, uh, I think it's a number five blade. It's uh, the wire's a .35. It's a, it's a pretty dang good one. Um, this one works fantastic for me, and I will give it a shot and see what I can do in here with it today. Um, I'm taking this little trip. It takes about, I don't know, three hours to walk through here. I have a doctor's appointment, like I say, at like, hmm, I don't know, 11 o'clock. So I gotta get out of here shortly. You know, this one here, this whole trip shouldn't take me more than three hours. So here you go. Let's we'll see how it works out up here. Yeah, this spot was really good in the middle of winter, but I'm kind of thinking somebody could have just walked over here and got on the bank. And there's a trail now on this other side which was never there before. I've never seen a trail on that side ever. So that means somebody else is walking over here and cutting through the woods and getting out of here and fishing at this spot. I've never seen anybody fish or walking on that side before. There's a human trail over on this side. This, holy crap, it's going all the way back into the woods now. So this is a highly productive spot, I guess, of people coming up to and catching the fish, I guess. Oh well, we we'll just get out of this spot. Holy crap, man. That's a worn down trail too. That ain't just a regular trail, that's a worn down trail. Who did this? Check this out, man. Somebody came in here and put down a trail that goes across the creek from one side to the other now. And it goes right up and through there. It's a nice worn down human path. Which kind of sucks because that means this spot in here is just getting pummeled. So, all right, I guess it is what it is. What can you do? Well, this is totally brand new, all these rocks. Wow. I wonder who brought these back in here like this. That seemed like it'd be a lot of work. But anyway, yeah, there's a trail right here. Like somebody's driving an ATV or something back here. See what's going on up ahead. Maybe they took the beaver dam out. Oh, they did. The beaver dam is gone. Wow. They did, man. They came back in here. Must have been like the DNR or something, man. Wow. Wow, dudes, check this out. I had to walk up across that little island right there at the beginning of the year because it was a, a beaver back here. They contacted Wisconsin DNR, uh, I don't know, about three, four weeks ago. They told them this dam was getting bigger and bigger, and the back channel was getting kind of, you know, filled with silt and harder to walk through. And damn, if they didn't come in here and remove it, that thing's totally gone. There used to be a huge beaver dam right here. I mean, if, I might even be able to get a clip from one of my old videos and just pop it in for 10 seconds to show you, but there used to be a giant beaver dam right here. Totally gone. Wowza. Not looking good. Today's just a good walk anyways. I need some exercise. I was out yesterday, had a fantastic video. So I'm not really too worried about anything, but this thing getting into a tree right there. I know where I'm going. Uh, it went up too high, I can't get it out. Oh, no way. There goes my only good lure. Guess he's gonna have to climb up on the bank. Son of a... All right, guys, I have to put this over here. Probably have to walk up ahead the way it looks. This guy's way up high and I ain't gonna be able to get him down unless I climb up there and snap that branch off. <sighs> there we go, guys. I want that fishing pole just hanging in the air. You have to try to get up this muddy ass bank. Hopefully, this guy breaks. There we go. Easy. Easy, boys. 
I'm going to get up to that guy there, which is really hard. I might be able to do a crawl like a monkey. There we go, boys. I got it back. Oh, didn't I? Oh, it's way up there. It's way up on that top one. I got to go all the way up. There's no part way up on this bank. I'm going to have to climb all the way up to the top. Oh, I can't reach it. No, oh, I can't get to it. Damn it. Oh, are you kidding me? Phew. Come on, guys. That was tough. And I still can't reach it. Oh, son of a... No way. I climbed all the way up here. I still can't get the branch. It's like right there. All this is breaking off on the way up. All I gotta do is get to that one branch. So wish me luck. I'm gonna try it. Try to climb, I guess. This is gonna be horrible. Oh wait, what's this? Maybe that step will break. There you go. Falls in the water. All right, guys. Looks like it came free through it. And now I'm gonna, I don't know, I have to try and pull it up. There we go. That's I can't get it off. This day is going. Unreal. This sucks. Not only did it go up on there, but it knotted around the... No, it just came right out. I don't know if it's even worth going straight ahead anymore. This is like... This spot is... Wow, that was horrible. That was freaking horrible. Fish on, boys! I got a fish. I didn't get the total capture. It's a nice one, too. First fish of the day, guys. Man, I had to go a long ways up this stream to catch this one guy so far. Check him out, dudes. I'm gonna leave him in the net for now. Maybe we can get this guy out fast. My hemostats, the lanyard broke, so I wasn't able to do much about that. Barely got it in his lip, too, so. A fast and easy one. There you go, guys, first fish of the day. And push this back up. First fish of the day, guys. He's a nice little chunker. So, yep. Let me get my thing here. We'll get a measurement on him real fast, maybe. If you'll let me. And we got, he is, he's 13 inches. There you go, guys. 13 inch brown. Just first fish of the day. We're going to get him back in the water. Let him swim downstream a little bit. We need fish down there. Whew. Wow. I get my camera turned on on time after I had to climb down that cliff. Whew. Back in a second, guys. Back in a second. That was a nice fish, dudes. That was a keeper. I kind of took him home and cooked him up for breakfast this morning with some eggs. At this point, it's a stupid little rock. Are you kidding me? It is. It's just a stupid little rock. Wow, this is really shallow here. This was always deep as crap. Now it's not deep anymore. Ow, 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 ow. There's a nail on here on the board and I stepped on it. Oh my God, what a day today, dude. I'm not having good luck at all. Oh, I went right through my foot into my wader. I guarantee there's a hole in my wader boot now. Son of a bitch. Oh well, I have to go home and try and fix it. Brand new wader boots. I can feel my sock getting wet right now. And I fell in the water. Son of a f It's a board down there, a big giant pallet like board. And damned if there wasn't a freaking nail sticking out of it. I tried to step over it, but apparently there's a chunk of it still in the sand down here. Wow, that tickled. And I fell in the water and because of it, geez, this has been just a good day, guys. I got one fish so far and I've had nothing but bad luck up in here. That did tickle very much. I got a nice hole in the bottom of my foot now. I got to have a tetanus shot. Unreal. I can't even see now because of the 
the sun in my eyes here. This spot, unreal. Oh, that hurt. That hurt bad, dudes. I was like stabbed right through the bottom of my boot. And I know I went right through my waiter booties. I don't have to wear socks over the top of everything now. Go figure that one out. Fun for me. Oh, that hurt. That hurt in more ways than you know. Now my foot's full of water in here now. I can feel my toes are all wet now all of a sudden. <sighs> Falling on my face. Well, it doesn't hurt anymore. It, it still hurts a little bit, like like a bee sting, but it's, I guess, what are you gonna do? Can I keep pushing on or I go back to the truck? All right, what an interesting day so far. Caught one fish, and then I also caught a nice nail to the foot, so. It's like, you can never tell what's in the bottom of these creeks. That's the first time that's ever happened, so. I've never, ever, ever been stabbed by something through the bottom of my boot in the creek ever before. I'm just very thankful that that nail wasn't longer because it would have gone all the way through and came up the top of my foot. That would have been pretty painful. It's like, I would have been crucified. But anyways, we're still gonna give it a shot after here. We got a little ways to go yet. We've gone most of the, over halfway now at this point, so. There's a big giant bridge coming up that might actually have some bombers on it. We don't know. Oh, uh, no. Ooh, fish on, boys. Fish on. Woohoo! Fishy, fishy. Look at the size of this guy. Wow. Kick this, guys. Got another nice one. Well, that's a, this is a trip. Check him out, guys. Wow. Check him out. Woohoo! Look at that dude. He's a fatty and he's off the hook now, too. Kick butt, dudes. Check this out. All right. Look at that guy. All right. Woohoo! All right, we'll get a measurement. This guy here is, he's another, he's about 14, he's 15. He's 15 inches long, guys, check it out. Got a 15 inch browner. First one is 14, this guy is 15. Check him out, ain't he beautiful? He's got some scratch marks on his head like he was in a fight. Like, I don't know if something tried to, what happened to him, so. Got some abrasions. All right, guys, I'm gonna get him back in the water and get him on his way. See you later, Tater. There he goes, downstream. Well, that made it a little bit better after getting stabbed in the foot. Sweet. Right now, I'd stop and have a hams, but guess what? I just looked at my bag and realized that I didn't pack it. I left it in the truck, so. <sighs> oh, well, let's see if we can catch more. That was pretty awesome. He was a nice size one too. Nope, that was a snag. You can see that guy, he came across the, the shallow sandbar right there and chased my lure. He made like a, like a, I don't know, like a trail in the water. It was pretty cool to watch. I thought maybe it was my lure dragging a stick or something. And nope, it was a big trout chasing it out of the corner over there and chasing it to me. So that dude's gonna wanna swim by me at some point. I would be, I'd wanna be back in that hole too if I was him. Fish on and fish on, look at this guy. Got another one, boys, check it out. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll catch him to me, maybe not, we'll see. Ooh, another brown trout, boys, another brownie. Not a big one, not as big as that last guy. Still, not bad. All right, barely hooked in the lip. I'll have him out in two seconds, flat as, flat as hell. Oop, there he goes, he just flicked it out himself. All right, guys, he's not a, not a giant one here. I'd say he's probably about, I don't know, 10 inches or so, maybe 10. Oop, now he's back in the water, and guess what he did? He just swam in my net, that's hilarious. Well, that was fun. All right, maybe this means the day is gonna turn around, hopefully. Right off that cut bank there, off that corner, maybe. Ooh, fish on, I thought so. Not a giant, but check it out, boys, another fish. So even though it's going a little slow this morning, at first it's paying off in the end, I guess. All right, this guy here, he's barely hooked. We're gonna have to get him out. 
just kind of my net more than anything. Problem is, getting caught in my, he's just, I can't get the, my hemostat just came disconnected from my lanyard this morning, so. I have to get a new lanyard. I have it hooked to my net right now because I didn't know any other way to deal with it. All right, guys, we got him out safely. Woohoo, fishy, fishy. Oh, he wants to go, and I don't blame him after all that. All right, guys, there we go. Nice little brownie again. Screw that fishing pole. There you go, guys. Check it out, brown trout. Little teeny rinky dinky one. I'm gonna set him down below the waterfall. Sweet. Ooh, it's got a hit, guys. Got a hit. So gonna chase it up to me? Nope. It definitely is a hit because there was like no weeds on it. It was just a short tap. Fish on, fish on. I told you. I knew something was gonna happen up in here. What do we got this time? Ooh, got a brook trout this time. Got a brookie, guys. Got a brookie. Not a bad looking little brookie either. I don't know. He's he's not that big. Look at this, guys. There we go. Little brook trout, man. Look at any pretty. Look at the colors on him. Oh, he's biting me. He's trying to take a bite out of my finger. But yeah, check him out, dudes. Pretty colors on this guy. We'll get him back in the water. He can get going down there too. See you later, tater. Squirminator, germinator. Fish on, fish on. We got it here. Oh, a little brookie. He's gone. Here we go, guys. 0.5. We got a, we just got a 0.5 brookie, which means he's, and if you've seen the size of him, he jumped out of the water. I don't know if he did, but he was pretty little. So he was almost like a 0.5er at himself anyways. He wasn't that big. So something they're aggressively feeding in here now. The bite just turned on like an hour ago. So we'll run it up here along this cut bank. Oh, fish on. Oh, big stick. All right, guys, there you go. That was a very aggressive stick. Holy crap, man. Stick of the D. Here we go. He's like the, he's bigger than all the fish I caught so far today, but yeah. All right, let's just get him off there. We'll get a measurement on this guy before we, uh, we kick him back in the water. And he's like a whole, He's 26 and 26 and a quarter inches long. Oh, wait, I didn't put him back far enough, sorry. He is actually 24 inches long, boy. He's a 24 inch long stick. There you go, trophy stick. You can't beat a trophy stick. I wonder, you know, I put him on my wall, but I have enough sticks there already. Later, stick, later. Fish on, fish on. Just a little guy, but he's still a fishy. Woohoo, check him out, boys. Just a fish. There he is. It's a teeny. Look at the size of this guy. I mean, look at the size of that. that that's like a minnow, dude. He's like a baby. He's just a little teeny baby. He wanted that spinner that's just like almost as big as him. Check it out, guys. Little tiny brookie. Is this a brookie or is this a brown? Oh well, whatever it is, it's gone. It's swimming downstream. Well, that was interesting. I couldn't tell what the heck that was. It looked kind of like a brookie. And it also looked like a brown too. I don't know. It's really kind of hard to tell because he was kind of really silvery. All right, guys. We're just going to get around here. Get up around the corner. Keep going. We got some really deep holes coming up ahead. We also got a lot of grassy area too. So we'll get to see what's really around here. Big old brown though chased it over here to me the first time around, but that little brookie still managed to hit it, which is really funny because that was brookie was about the size of my spinner. It was very small. That big trout that was sitting over there, he's probably sad he's gone now. Oh, we got another tiny little brookie. Holy crap, these guys are like like tiny minnows in here. What the hell is up in this spot, man? This must be like a little breeding ground for these little suckers. 
All right, guys, there we go. Look at the size of that brown trout, dudes. I mean, even if I hold him right next to the camera, he still looks small. Look at the size, he's just itty bitty. All right, we'll just get that little, there he goes. He's swimming downstream. Well, that's like two tiny, tiny itty bitty small ones so far in a row. I probably think I'm taking and emptying out this big trout in here. I'm emptying his refrigerator. All right, two puny little teeny puny trout. I don't know. I'll try up there in that run. Maybe there's something bigger sitting way up in there. And that side more compared to the other guy. That was just two small little tiny little itty bitty minnows right there. Those minnows are hungry though, apparently. All right, guys. One thing to let you know, it's really a lot of gnats and flies and everything else around right now, mosquitoes in the whole nine yards. So, and what works for me is, this is my old vanilla extract. I put it in a little spray bottle for like a CD cleaner. Spray bottle, a little teeny thing, and I just bring it with and spray it all over my face and get up in here and try it out. And boy, oh boy, if it doesn't work, wonders. It doesn't, I haven't had any gnats or any mosquitoes biting me whatsoever. They're everywhere here too. If you look here on the side, flowers and stuff, you can see all of them flying around. All kinds of them. Big, big hatch going on. All these fish in here, they're chowing down. Boy, is that blinding right here in this spot. You guys probably won't even be able to see shit in there. Look at all that sunlight. I can't even see where I'm casting at basically here. I might just move up. I'm getting all kinds of roots into these grassy trees. And through this, all this grass. Ooh, fish on, man. Oh, that was a nice brookie too. Oh well, there's another 0.5. Their spot looks good too. It's right there off the edge of this grass where that little log chunk sticking out. Hold on, I'm not even sure if you guys can see that. But right up ahead there, there's like a there's a log right there in that corner, and there's a bunch of grass there. I can get right up next to it. Ooh, right there. There might actually be something in there. Is there? Ooh. No. It's a it's the grassinator trout. So yeah, we're gonna push past this spot. There's a bunch of big holes coming up before we gotta get out of here. So we could end up getting up here and playing around for an hour or so. We don't know yet. We just gotta go slow and make sure we don't screw up everything anymore than we already have. There's a bunch of rocks, it looks how it feels like. Yeah, there's nothing happening there, just a bunch of rocks in a shallow area. So I'm for sure there'd be something over there. Nope. Oh, the hell is that? Feels like a big stick or a big rock or something. Ooh, a big riser up ahead in the next pool. So just go slow. This pool here isn't very bit deep, it's inches. I'm looking at a very small pool with not very many fish. I see teeny ones, but I'm not seeing anything too big. So we're gonna push past up here. Oh no, guys, a whole bunch of wood up here. Jesus, this is gonna be terrible. Hopefully I don't get snagged up in it. And hopefully I don't get in my foot. I try to push past it and we'll see how that goes, guys. Look at this, straight down. Look at all this wood here, man. Somebody put this here on purpose. There's like a pallet there, all the way across pallets. This whole section here. And somebody put them all in there on purpose. So I have to be very careful. I'm not gonna hurt myself again. I have to see how it's gonna go. Fish on, fish on, a little teeny one. What's with these little teeny ones up in here? Well, good, he's gone. I don't want to mess with him anyways. Get Brookie stank all over my hands for something that's six inches. All right, man. Let's see if we can push past these broken pallets here without getting another nail in my foot. 
Jesus, I can't believe they're there. It's almost like somebody put them there on purpose, it looks like. They're stacked all the way across the shoreline like somebody buried them in there. I mean, they're all the way up on the bank. There's no way in heck. Oh, they're all roped together, too. Somebody put them there, that's for sure. All right. Let's just keep pushing on up. A lot of nice juice in this area, dudes. A lot of nice juice. A lot of nice juice. Oh, right in front of me. He chased it right to my feet. All right, guys. There we go. He chased it right to my feet. Oh, no. Dang it, man. This sucks. Right now. This really, really sucks, guys. I'm telling you, I cannot get a break on my stupid nut right now. I got my hemos connected to it. For some reason or another, it's just not... Come on, guys. What the heck? I need a line out. There we go. All right, boys. Here we go, we got another brownie. Check him out, he's not that big. But nevertheless, we got him. We're gonna bring him up here now. Two seconds, he kinda cooked himself in the face pretty good, it's not good. There we go guys, brown trout. Let's get like a measurement on him, see what we got going on here. We have, yeah, he's like probably 10 inches. He's not that big, so we'll get this guy back in the water. Ooh, look at the size of that. What is that, a bird? Check it out, man. There's a moth over there about the size of a... Oh, that's like a gigantic... I don't know what the hell that was. Dragonfly, dude. Is this dragonfly here? This is massive dragonfly. I doubt I can get close enough to it, but maybe... We'll try here. He was on the water. I thought it was a hummingbird that, got, that fell off the bank or something, but... Look at the size of this guy. Maybe you'll let me get closer. Look at the size of that dragonfly, dudes. He's a tank. Holy crap, look at the size of that dude. He's a big boy. Wow. Cool. Ooh, fish on, fish on, boys. Fishy, fishy, kick ass. We got another fish before we leave. It's a little one, but who cares? It's a fish. All right. All right, dudes. Got another brownie. Came down from brown town to come downtown to hang out with Slayer Mike in Lower Town. Check him out, man. A little brown trout. He's like probably, you know, probably about eight inches at that. We'll send him down that way. See you later, dude. Have a good day. My problem is now, boys, is that we're probably going to hit a bunch of murky-ass water right now because of this beaver dam being here. We'll give it a cast right off the dam. See if anything's above up here before we get in the water. Fish. Oh, fish on, boys. Ooh, that was a nice one, too. Holy crap, that was a really nice one. I don't think that'll happen again. I don't think that'll happen again, but we should try again. Nope, nothing happened that time, boys. That big guy learned his lesson. He ain't gonna do that again. Yeah, that big guy, he ain't gonna do that again. I can guarantee that. That big dude just learned his lesson. That thing was bigger than the other one I caught, so, earlier. Dang it, caught up on a branch here next to me. Trying to get above that damn area. That damn area, man. Try to get a bunch of the damn area. Here's a big fish right there. That's too bad. 
Figure out what I didn't, why I didn't catch him. He should have got him. Hooks are still sharp as could be. He was just able to just toss it. That's the way it works. If you win, you lose. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. Wow, oh, dudes, what a journey today. Get there. I hiked and hiked and hiked and hiked. Nothing. And they got my only chartreuse quarter ounce spinner that I had left. And it got snagged in a tree. So I literally had to climb the tree to get my lure back because I wasn't going to lose it. Then I got up around the corner. I nailed a fish. It was pretty good. It was a pretty decent fish. I was pretty happy. It got me started for the day, but I had to walk so far up in there to get it. And then I walked up around another corner and there was like a big pile of wood. There was like, uh, like an old bench and some pallets and all that stuff. There's a big pile of it. And instead of getting out of the creek like I should have, I walked in through it and I tried to step over it and I caught a nail. And you'll see that in there. I'm sure you already saw that about me falling in the creek because I had a nail. I don't know. I felt like it was that long. Went through my boot and into my foot. And I mean, it went in there pretty good and deep. Anyways, now I got to go home and I got to try to find the hole in my wader booties because my sock was kind of wet, but it wasn't super wet. So I'm sure the hole isn't that big, but it's still a hole. <sighs> Anyways, guys, thanks for like hanging with me today. Thanks for coming along on my trip. After that, I caught a whole mess of fish and did pretty good. Seen a dragonfly that was like that looked like a hummingbird. It was huge. Anyways, I had a good trip. I hope that you guys had a good time hanging along with me. Um, uh, just like I said before, there's a head over here. There's a playlist over here. Click on that playlist. Go see the places I fish in the driftless. Check out my tips, tricks, and techniques and stuff I do in the driftless. Places I go, fun places I fish. They're scenic. Everything's getting so green and beautiful out here and all nice and warm. Anyways, guys, like I said, head playlist. Go check it out. Come visit me. And until next time, thanks for tuning in. <laughs>